Morning everyone, um, this is probably the biggest update to filters since uh, since tracking launched at least, um, so around about January time. Um, the biggest issue, or the biggest uh, piece of feedback that people gave was regarding um, excluding leagues, um, the manual process of it. So I'll just walk you through a few of the changes that have been made. If you open your filter, and I've cleared all the cash from this filter, I've excluded all of the leagues that... Um, I've excluded all of the leagues from the exclusion that were there. Um, so if we go to the leagues now, you've got this new tool which will automate the process of um, excluding leagues for you. And you can do it once. Um, so if you build a filter, you see the, the initial tracking results. You can then look at the leagues and see how it's doing, see what kind of leagues um, have been brought in, how many games have played. You can see that um, there's five in this league, there's only one in this, but it's 100%. Um, so one thing you might want to do, let's say you've got a first half goals filter or corners filter or something, you might want to let it find a couple of games first. So if it's the first ever game that this filter has found, you might you, you might not want to see it because you want to see how it does first or maybe you want to see how it does after five games. Um, and just to note as well, this isn't, games played in that league this is games found by the filter in that league um, so as you slide this along you'll be able to see if I just do it like this you'll you'll see it more clearly that it updates in real time now it doesn't save in real time it's just a preview of, of the leagues that will be left um, once you've saved these settings so I'm gonna say I want each league to have uh, been found five times by the filter and we can save the settings and it should uh, re-pull straight away and it does now it's only found 82 games but the hit rate has gone up so that's the first way you can automate the exclusion of leagues um, and you can also still go in and just manually include or exclude um, so that is the first way now I'm going to put this back to zero save the settings and it should bring in the, the previous results it does now the next option is the minimum hit rate so this is a little bit easier it will make your filters um, have a higher hit rate obviously um, but I wouldn't I wouldn't just do this I wouldn't just put it to 100% I would maybe cut out some of the leagues that you know you would exclude anyway some that you wouldn't bet on some that are just not performing well and it's important to note as well that you can use this with the top one you can use them both at the same time so you might want the filter to only track leagues that have, uh, have found two games and let's say over 70 percent so if we save these settings now okay 88 percent and more games than previously so that's the automated stuff um, with regards to league tracking and once you've done this you don't have to go in and change it all the time this will affect the filter uh, the fixtures you see on the filter feeds in the planner it won't show leagues from the ones that are excluded so it'll only show leagues if it's been tracked in this case uh, twice and that league has a hit rate of 70%. So it, it'll just give you a, a little bit more confidence when it comes to um, selecting the games from filters. Um, and the second thing is when you're actually creating filters. So let's look at this away win. I can't remember the rules on this one, but it's just quite a basic filter um, with 60% hit rate for away wins. And you can see um, the teams have played 15 times or more. Uh, the away team has won 60% or more on the road um, and the home team has won no more than 45% of home games so it's not a bad filter and the results are just okay um, so it's found 751 games and if we look at the results and we can see here if we toggle to see the odds um, Leon women the, the pre-match odds 1.02. Um, I don't want to see that. I don't. I, I never really want to see that. 1.36. I don't want to see that. Um, 1.4. Probably not. 1.04. Probably not. 
Um, if this filter is based around alerts, yeah, yeah, I would probably want to see those gains. Um, but this specific filter isn't. So the next addition is the ability to set a market. So most filters will start off with um, just home win. And if this is one, then nothing will happen. Um, but if you add something to this, then the filters and the fixture feeds and the planners, again, it will strip out all of the games that you expect it to. And we'll do a test here. So um, the away win is at least 1.5. So I think there was a few games there that we saw uh, that were under 1.5. So for this particular filter, I don't want to see them. So we reload the filter. You can see it's um, brought in 445 games now. And if we look at the results, there's a, a few more defeats there. But you can see, well, these are the PCODs. You can see the away wins now, pre-match, are no lower than uh, 1.4, was it? Or 1.5 we put in, yeah. And just to show you as well on the fixture feeds, if we load the same filter, two games for today, and both games are higher than the odds we set in, or equal to. Um, yeah, so that is the minimum odds uh, tool. I think it will it'll be great for those pre-match filters that are based around BTTS or home wins, away wins, or goals. Um, I've got one set up as well for uh, over 2.5 goals, which I need to add the, um, the minimum odds to it, but it's just based on the probability. So that's sort of what I look at in the database, and I'm just trying to get what I can get quite easily in the database, try and get it to you guys um, and make it as easy as possible as well. Um, I do have a bigger plan for filters to try and merge it all together. Um, some of the settings are spread out across different sections and pages at the minute. Um, so I'll hopefully merge them uh, to create an even tighter experience soon. Um, there is one final setting as well. If you go to filters, when you are creating um, a new league. So let's open the first half goals likely filter again. And we can look at the results and we've got Serie A here. Okay, so let's say I, I really like Serie A and this, this filter, okay, it's for first half goals, but let's imagine it's for cards and we're going to edit this. And there's now a leagues tab inside the filters section as well. So you can click on that and it'll load a list of leagues. Um, I'm going to add a text search to this um, probably today. But if you wanted a filter to just look at Serie A, you would find Italy, and you can see why <laughs> the text search is, is needed now. Um, and we would click on Serie A, and then we would go to the top, and we would confirm. And you can see I've got Serie A here. You can click it to delete it quite easily. And save. So now what will happen is we will find that filter again, first half goals likely. Now it's found seven games and six of them have won. So actually Serie A is pretty good for first half goals given these rules. And if we look at the results, it's just Serie A fixtures. So as I say, this um, this will work well if you do have Filters that are aimed around cards or corners and, and you want to exclude leagues or you want to just include leagues um, that you know are not just good for it, but have the markets available. That's that's one of the issues with card markets, isn't it? That a lot of um, bookmakers just don't support card markets because they would lose money if they did. Um, so that's all the new filter settings. Um, as always, give me some uh, feedback on Twitter. There's, there's going to be... Uh, a lot of small updates to it this week just because that's that's how it works i launch something big and then someone will recommend something that can be tweaked and added and um yeah that's just the way it goes um it took a while but it's it's here now and um the odds filtering i think i think a lot of you will like that and uh in general the filter pace the time it takes to get your filter results has been improved probably two or three times um so yeah as always enjoy